Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is the Moonstone Mamas. My name is Devin and we're doing a jewelry unboxing. Um, if this is your first time here with us today, hi, hello, how are you? And if you're a returning subscriber, so glad that you're here with me today. Um, I am one half of Moonstone Mamas. My mom and I have this channel where we do jewelry unboxing, we do um, natural stones detective work, um, and we have some live auctions. Basically, we're jewelry resellers. So, I'm doing an unboxing today of this item. It is six pounds of natural stone jewelry, and this is how much I paid for it. Um, and there's the picture for you. Um, I tend to purchase a lot of natural stone stuff, so if this isn't your bag, head over to one of my other videos. <laughs> so here it is, right out the bag, what we'll be opening up. I always like to do my unboxings, like opening the bag, online or on. <laughs> I always like opening up the box with you guys so that you guys know um, I'm not patting the box in any way, I'm not adding anything. Um, you know, it's funny sometimes how I see a couple of other people who do unboxings and they find sterling silver rings and sometimes they find that, but not in every single lot that I open up. So, um, I like to be just as honest as possible. Sometimes you get really cool stuff and sometimes you don't. Uh, so if you are new to the channel, I do have two children under the age of four and I do like to time it so that hopefully my kids will be napping when I do this, but today didn't work out that way. So they're in the process of waking up and coming out of their rooms. So if you hear chaos, that's what it is. Um, I usually have a box that I dedicate to um, craft. I have a box of stuff, um, or like a box that I dedicate to um, testing the jewelry if I think it's semi-precious. Um, other things that I have is a magnet to do preliminary testing. And if you've seen right there, I use scissors. I also have a box for garbage. Um, because sometimes you tend to get garbage. Um, and then I usually try to divide it um, further into bracelets and earrings and such like that. So let's go ahead and start this off. It looks like we have some like dyed stone here. And this is a nice stretch. It's got some Rivoli beads here. That's a nice one. I've got this that says $7.99 create a watch. Okay. Well, this is a natural stone. I don't know if this goes on here, but that's cool. <laughs> sterling or not but I'll go ahead and put this in the, the checking pile or the test pile rather Ooh, this is a fun one. have um, really pretty findings here and then this one I don't know, it doesn't really feel like natural stone you can kind of hear kind of has like a plastic um, feel to it I think these might be the only thing yeah these are the only things that are natural stone, and to me that's like carnelian, which nonetheless, it's really nice, um, but here it is. Multi-layer, you've got your natural, um, multi-layer, you've got your natural tones, your earth tones, very pretty. Next thing, jumping right out of the box, this kind of feels like it has like a little bit of like a memory wire effect to it. And it looks like the clasp has come off of it, which that's like a really easy fix. Yeah, because there's the hole right there, and I would just stick this in here and fix it that way. And we do that off camera. Okay. So here we go. So let's take a little closer look at these stones. And this is like a memory wire. Um, it's interesting that they would use that because it makes it so, as you can see, misshapen. Um, so it looks like we have various stones on here. I'm going to do some further research about them. And uh, the clasp doesn't seem to have any kind of markings or a hang tag, but still really great condition. And there's another one. Oh, oh it's a, 
this doesn't go in here. This has Monet on it. Monet adjustable. Um, yeah, I was just going to say, usually has a Monet clasp. There's your Monet clasp. Um, these feel like resin to me, and then this also is resin. It's pretty, looks like a leaf. Maybe those are glass. Yeah, you can see kind of like the bubbled texture here. I think these are glass. Glass, and then resin. Quite cute nonetheless, and it has a tag on it. It's very nice. Have this right here, which has some stamping or some rivets in here. I'm not 100% certain, but this is Mother of Pearl. It doesn't pick up, but my guess is just silver tone. But I'll put it in the test pile nonetheless. Oh, here's another one. Very pretty. You have your gold tone. I had one like this one time, and it was from. Um, Dang, slipping my tongue. I can't remember what it is. It's a costume brand, but totally just escaped me the moment I spoke about it. Uh, this was $30 at one point, marked down to $15. This is like Die How Light in the shape of plus signs. Very nice wrap. Oh, oh. I don't know if this is supposed to be on here, or this is like another, it's like copper, uh, hanging off of the, the Rivoli beads, but it's supposed to be copper colored. Um, but this is like an agate. It's pretty. I love copper. Um, I think it's cute. Very nice. Very cool. Next thing out of here, ooh, is a very nice stretch. We have some tiger's eye on both sides here. We have some soda light here, carnelian here. And then possibly, this is amazonite. Um, but a lot of nice natural stones, and it's a nice chunky one. Very nice. Ugh, so I slam it against the door. It was very nice. <laughs> no, it helped. Um, here we go. This is a dyed stone, in my opinion, probably dyed quartz on a little like adjustable hangy doodad. Cute. This is the thing that was stuck on it, but then it's also stuck on something else. So we'll get to that at a later time and we'll pull something else out that will come out freely. This is a big one. So super long. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. It is nice and heavy. It's beautiful. It's green. Let's get a close look at this. Ooh, I think this is moss agate. Oh, I love moss agate. I may have to hold on to this. Yeek. Such a lovely sound. So beautiful. Stunning. Oh, the brooch. Cute. I love when they make little brooches. Like someone who's like a geology teacher or something would be really cute to wear something like this. I don't know. Uh, the next thing that came out with that really long necklace is a carnelian chip. And I don't see a clasp on it, so it's just an eternity one. Which, that's cool. These can be worn as necklaces, or these can be wrapped like a thousand times and worn as a bracelet. So, very cute. Lots of good stuff. Uh, and then we have a barrel clasp here that I'm going to do while looking through the camera. All right. Ooh, beautiful. A nice long one. And there's my son. <laughs> and then it feels like, oh, some natural stone beads up here. Oh, it's like a uh, rhodochrosite up here. Very cute. Very nice. It's a lovely one. Are you ready to come out yet? Nope. Ooh, this one. 
It's like a caged amethyst. It's like a whimsical kind of color and a very gold tone chain, like so gold tone. There is your, what's oh, Avon? How about that? Cool. What's amethyst in there? Very nice. Ooh, an earring. To me, this doesn't seem like it would be stone. Yeah, this is just resin. That's pretty nonetheless. Put it off to the side and hopefully get the matchy matchy to it. Okay, it's ready to come out now. Uh, this looks like it's like a smoky quartz. I was thinking, oh, it's like a really dark purple amethyst, but I think it's just a smoky quartz and has a spring ring clasp. Very nice. Um, ooh, hematite. So we have a hematite chip and looks like clear quartz chips in between some stations of silver tone beads with a barrel clasp. Very nice. Hematite's really great for grounding. If you need direction, focus, it's a really good one to This guy, which, ooh, look at that little jersey inside there with the whale. It's like a rainbow aura little one on the inside there. And then got like rhinestones up top. It doesn't appear to have any stamps or anything. I'm gonna put this off to the side and see if we can't find the match. I wonder if this is sponge coral or if this is just resin. I'm not gonna click it against my teeth. It's a no-no for me right now, especially everything that's going on. What do you say? The hang tag that says nothing? India. Oh, is that the Silpata mark? Focus. Maybe the Silpata mark? <laughs> I don't know. I have to do some research about this one, so I'm gonna actually put this in the test pile. Do for the research. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at all of the beautiful abalone. Oh my goodness. It doesn't appear to have a clasp. Maybe it does, and I'm not seeing it. Yep, right, right here. Uh, the spring ring doesn't seem to match all the other metals on here, so it might have been replaced at one point. So when I do go to sell this, I'll definitely disclose that information. But nonetheless, it seems like everything is in really good shape. And it's a lovely sound. Just gotta pull and pull and see what comes loose first. Oh, looks like this one. Looks like we have some, let's see here, Amazonite. And this color, uh, just in my short time of reselling jewelry, this color seems to be very popular with Amazonite. It's almost the color, almost, almost the color of Larimar, um, but it's a really pretty, like tropical blue color. Um, it's got really nice weight to it, a great toggle, makes it really easy to um, put on and on yourself. Um, and then it's got some, I don't know if these are, these appear to be glass at first glance, like a faceted glass. Um, very pretty, very lovely necklace. Um, let's look at this chipped necklace. I love chipped necklaces. I love just natural stones in general. Um, this may, this appears to be mahogany obsidian, um, or uh, espresso obsidian or coffee obsidian um, it is like obsidian it's got some coffee colored striation throughout that's what I think that this is very pretty and then we have some oh hello what do you say Geneva Oh, Genoa. I'm not very good with watches, to be honest. But this is a very nice one. It's got some it's one, two, three panels. It's adjustable. 
stainless steel, water resistant. Very nice. See if we have a battery for it. Ooh, I wonder if what this kind of um, pattern is, the two balls and the rectangle here. Um, it's really pretty. I've gotten a couple of these in various sizes. It's got a lot of nice stretch. Looks like agates, just like a moss agate here. Maybe carnelian, very lovely. Earth tones. Um, so these are polished and tumbled, um, dyed, I think. But we got a pink one and then we've got like a green color. Very nice, they're long. So it would be really great to layer these. So this is them doubled up. Very nice. They, oh, this one has, oh, this one says made in Taiwan. Cool. Always like to know a good origin story. This right here, seems like it might be calcite to me. Um, and then this, this interesting texture to it. The way it sounds is kind of the way it feels. That makes sense. Okay, well this one we got another toggle. Uh, these are cute, like heart and crossbones. Heart and crossbones, oh my gosh. A heart and an arrow. Where's my head at? Uh, this looks like it's not very high polish, but it's like uh, citrine or carnelian. And these for sure are carnelian down here. Definitely high polish. So lay it out so you can see it. Very good. I don't know what it is, um, but lately I've just gotten an influx of um, stuff that I needed to unbox. So. <laughs> I've got like three boxes that I need to do and they're all oh, it's premier designs all over like you know six or seven pounds so it's, it's like a commitment to unbox them can't just like open them all willy-nilly oh these are pretty um this appears to be some kind of agate I love the paneling on here it kind of lends itself to be like a Asian kind of feel I guess in my opinion um but it could be anything you want it to be floral accents uh, premier designs very pretty and this is a necklace that I have gotten a dozen times over again. Um, these are, I think, ones that are, were mass produced in the 60s or 70s. They have a barrel clasp, um, and they just have tumbled and polished stones, uh, ranging from quartz, amazonite, onyx, um, agates of various, you know, sizes and shapes. Very nice. I usually list these on my um, Etsy for like $32, so. Those are really good staple pieces to have. And then it looks like we just got a piece of stone, which is nice to have. I think it's carnelian. Oh, another one. Just almost toss it out. Ooh, this is crazy lace agate. And it's been dyed blue, so you can really see the craziness on there. Just take a second to just dive in deep. Very beautiful. Ooh. So this is... Another one of those necklaces, they're long, um, very pretty. These appear to be agate, but they don't have a lot of high polish. They have like a matte finish to them. Oh my gosh, this thing is so long. There it is, beautiful blues, just beautiful color. Love that. Very nice. This is um, glazed and ceramic. It's not natural stone. Put it off to the side and see if we get a match. Pull this one out, which is stuck on the earring, which found the other one. So, yippee! There we go. And this one has like an aura on the inside as well. Yep, yeah, there it is. So, we have a match. Cute. What was I doing? Oh, this one. Okay, so this is, I think, dyed Howley. It's got a lobster claw clasp that's seen better days for sure. I'm obviously gonna run it through the wash, but if it doesn't make it, this is definitely something that's gonna go in the craft lot just because if, if the chain in it's just, 
Well, maybe I can take this away from the chain, but it seems like the fringe is in the same condition. So run it through the wash, see how it goes. We have this one, uh, which beautiful stone. Got your clasp here. Very nice, lightweight chain. Very pretty. Very long one, too. Go ahead and lay it out. And that uh, that you hear <laughs> is my table. So, just so that you guys can hear. Very nice. Oval shape. We're about halfway through. Pull it a little bit closer. Ooh, look at that. It's like a mosaic abalone. And it needs to be cleaned. It's pretty. It doesn't pick up. I'm gonna put this off to the side and see if I can't find a match. Ooh, a box of something. <laughs> I'm just a little frightened. Oh! Oh! It's pyrite! Cool! I call this fool's gold. Hi, right. This is the stuff that you see in lapis lazuli, which is the blue stone with the flex, the gold flex. This is the gold flex. Fun. Here we go. This is another one of those that is has seen better days. It's got a stunning faceted amethyst. And this is one of those that would be have to be like completely taken off of the necklace to be replaced. So I'm gonna take it through the wash and see how it goes, but never know. We have the other matchy-matchy to this guy. You can hear that they're resin. Got this, which is my guess, alpaca. No, it's got your Mexico stamp. The Echo in Mexico, it doesn't say 925 or anything, but my guess it's alpaca. Very pretty nonetheless. Got a few of them that were similar in that way. Oh, we've got some watches. Oh, look at that. If you want to know what time it is, whoosh, just swirl it around. Avon, and it gives a serial number. So you can wear it as like a bracelet. And this is the lapis lazuli. So this pyrite is the stuff that you see in this. When you move it and you see the flex. Very cool. This is a cool one. I like this. Cool. Does this go down like this? I suppose so. Looks like an ohm sign. I do believe that's what that is. Got a little fringe, and then you got little dangly bits, like leather or something. And you got some natural stones that are faceted. Ooh. And then this says LJ, which I'm going to have to do some research about who LJ is. Because I don't know if I know them. Is this a volcano stone? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, on both sides. So you can drop some a little aromatherapy on there. So maybe this is like a meditation necklace. Very cute. I like it. A nice dyed agate. Pendant. And a toggle in this. It's mother of pearl. Usually check on the inside of the toggle to see if there's any markings. Oh, it's really green. Um, yeah, this is one that I'm going to separate from the class and give it a bath. <laughs> okay, um, this. Ooh. Hello, how are you? Beautiful stone in there. Gonna have to do some research about that. Uh, this is a stone, faceted to catch the light. Very lovely. I think it's well worth the money spent, to be honest. I know I'll definitely be able to get my money back out of it. Uh, this looks like like an ocean jasper. It's like one of those that the condition of 
Oh, this is a better condition than the other one, for sure. This is a nice large size pendant. Ah, I see the issue. It's cracked right here. So really, if you wanted to, uh, and if it was a really big concern, um, you could just take some wet dry sandpaper and just go over it, so smooth this out so it doesn't look like such an eyesore. But really, I had to like look at it to see what the problem was. So I'm maybe gonna try that. Um, this one says $12.99 on it. Oh, it's an earring. I was like, oh, it's a pendant. So it's got your um, mother of pearl and your abalone in the center. So I'll decide when we get the other one. Ooh, a druzy, but this is a faux druzy, so it's like resin. I need to have like an iridescent look to it. So you have your cord, and then you have your gold tone with a hunk of amethyst here. And it's like chevron amethyst. You can tell by the design, it's made to look like a chevron pattern. There's a costume, and it says Avon. Hey, Avon, giving us the, the goods. Okay, this one is another lace agate, and it's one of those really long ones. Really, really long ones. I like the red accents in between the way it's been strung. Very pretty, but you can see the banding on the agates. Very pretty. And then this is another really long one. An ocean jasper. Very nice. Earlier today I was actually just putting together some more of the prescriptions that I made, like the natural stone little stuff. Um, so I had a piece of ocean jasper and it was my last one so I'm glad I have another one. Um, this is pink quartz and my guess this is just yeah, glued on. Very cute. It's like a aluminum maybe or some kind of copper. But very cute. Ooh, okay, so this is a slice packet, and it's been like soldered with this gold tone accent on the side. Um, and then you've got some picture jasper looking beads. Very nice. Who are you? Oh, you have some rhodonite here, which is the pink and white stone, and this is a little frog. Very cute little brooch. Uh, I don't see a maker's mark or anything on it. It's very cute. A lot of things I tend to put off to the side so I don't lose them. Oh gosh, look at this. That looks literally like a landscape. And this is picture jasper. I mean, rightfully so, it's considered picture jasper because it looks like a picture. Um, there's no markings on here. It doesn't pick up. My guess is just like costume. The beautiful picture, Jasper. That's a good one right there. Um, here is the other one, that faux druzy. I'm pretty certain I've had like the necklace to match with this before. Um, and I know I just pulled something out, but these caught my attention, so I have to touch them. Look at that. There earrings oh my god this is sliced I don't even think that's natural stone I think it's just like plastic or something um, but this one has this little dangle and this one doesn't but look at that look at how unique that is I'm putting these off the side so maybe I'll find the dangle at the bottom if not I'm going to be kind of sad um, here is a just yep um, this is on like a material cord and it's a little uh, Amazonite heart. So I'll probably take this off of the cord and put it on another chain or something. Um, oh, this is cute, it's a little heart. Very cute. The other one of that ceramic one. This one. Got your ooh unikite here. Ooh, lends itself to be Native American with this whole kind of look to it. I'm gonna clear this off. Ooh, it's got a star. Oh, it's got a hook. Double layered. And there it is. Very cute. Looks like you have some like copper colored beads. Definitely some natural stones in there. Very pretty. It looks like ocean jasper here. Quartz. 
Crazy Lace Agate. And a star. Cute. Love that. This guy that originally pulled out, but I got carried away with other things. Your natural stone here. Checking to see for a class. Here is. Nope. So maybe there isn't a class one here. Maybe I just passed it up. But this is another long one. As you can see, it's doubled over. Um, and you've got various different sizes and shapes in between gold tone stations. There's the clasp. And another one of these. Create a watch. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I guess it's like to put on a watch. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Here we go. Here's another natural stone necklace. Ooh, it's got some doodads on the bottom here. Oh, no. It literally an earring. Matches the other one that we have. <laughs> Good one. This is the drop down. It matches this. It's just a little bit bigger. I'll go ahead and show you here. Beautiful. Is this pearls? I just totally missed that. No, you can see the coating coming off of them. Oh, nope, that's dirt and that's gross. Um, so. That looks like a pitted stone. Wood. It's wood in between faux pearl. Cute nonetheless. And if I wasn't already going to wash my hands after this, I'm definitely going to do that now. This one is, lends itself to be vintage, but you know, they kind of like mass produce this clamp now, so it's like you really don't know if it's vintage or not, but you have some really pretty amethyst chips in between some beaded ones. And I've actually had like these little rosette beads before and I've tested them and they haven't been sterling, but they don't pick up on the magnet. So either they're silver plated or nickel silver, but nonetheless it doesn't take away beauty. So here we go. Thank goodness I have found the other one to this. I was so worried. Ooh, okay. Hello, this is an adjustable um, explosion. I have some amethyst here, agate, you have some AB coated beads. Uh, it's adjustable for sure. Have some, this looks like it's reconstituted, so it's pieces of different stones that have been put back together with epoxy. Um, very pretty. Got some pendants here. This one's been drilled into, and it looks like it's tiger's eye. You can see some of the chatoyancy here, the shift here, the lines. Looks like that's what it might be. And this one, maybe appetite. And this one, oh, is this a, is this a frog? It's a frog. It's a frog. I'm trying to tell if that's malachite. Yeah, that's a malachite frog. Well, holy smokes. That's Malachite Frog. Oh, that's staying there with me. Uh, oh, and this is probably where that piece came off of, right here. This Apollonian Mother of Pearl. And last but not least, we have some Amethyst. All in all, a really amazing opening. Six pounds of natural stone. Stunning, lovely, um, gorgeous. Very awesome. If you like this video, if you wouldn't mind giving it a thumbs up subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done so and make sure you hit that notification bell it lets you know when i upload another video or go live hope to see you in the next one bye guys